Hello YouTubers, welcome to another episode, welcome to a new week, we've made it to Monday but it's a little bit of a sad one on this specific Monday because as you can tell behind me, why is the Erg not set up here in Yamcave V2? Well, it is time to move from Yamcave V2 just because of certain situations going on outside of the videos, it means going back to the house at Bath obviously taking social distancing, taking isolation on board, making sure that I'm not sort of contacting people unnecessarily, but do need to move. So moving locations once more back to Bath once more, but it is quite, a, it's an interesting thing. Like I was, we spent most of lockdown here with you, the Yam Squad, with Bay here in Yam Cave V2 and in Yam Cave V3, the kitchen of PBs. But it's just not like I thought. Like, okay, yeah, I'll just move the stuff over and it'll be fine. But it's, it's just it's been it's been a really fun eight nine weeks, and just to change things up can be a bit of like oh, it's, I was I was having good fun. But with change, yes, you might have the little bit of looking back, but. You also have that looking forward as well. So a little bit of excitement coming up because there's a little bit of change. And as always, remember, variation is one of the keys to motivation. So even though Bath have been there before, it's still something different after essentially almost like a, an eight or nine week training block somewhere else, like a training camp if it were. But now we're going back to Bath today, just moving everything out. And... We're going to talk a little bit about post 2K. So we'll be moving just over uh, today and tomorrow and just making sure everything's sorted out, but no sort of big deal and won't be doing too much training because as I spoke about last time after a 2K and the time before that after Paris and after the 2K at the beginning of lockdown, I really felt like it... So after a peak, like you're you're really going for it, really to, regardless of the piece, regardless of the the race, whatever it is, if you're peaking for something, regardless of the, even the performance that you do, if you're going, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, up to peak for something, a performance, and then the performance, you do the performance, whether you succeed or you don't quite get to what you wanted to do, it's always that post peak downer almost or pretty much is a post peak downer because you've built everything up you're ready to go and then you you do the performance and then oh right okay now what is the next target the next goal um and it's also difficult when you don't quite smash the performance where it's like ah maybe i'd do the same target but that's not quite what we're doing this time with the Paris 2K, yeah, I didn't. I felt like I had loads of fun and I felt like I could step on, but it was just, again, after that, I was like, oh, that's taking quite a lot out of me. The PB 2K at the beginning of lockdown, I finished that and kind of kept pushing. And then the next week, it took me a couple of weeks just to sort of settle into the groove. And this one, I'm going to be, okay, I've learnt from the experiences. And I'm going to just take some chill time to get back onto it and the benefit of basically being erging for the last eight nine weeks is that i haven't been on the water that's might sound strange the benefit i'm talking about is that as as for me as like i've not been on the water for a while and it's like i want to get on the water i want to i want to go do that i want to see how fast i can go i want to go in the water so we will be getting on the water at some point obviously making sure social distancing rules apply and everything's safe and sanitized and whatnot but again something exciting by moving around and getting on the water very very soon so i have the single pretty much ready to go and we're going to get out the water hopefully beginning this week and basically transferring the goals from the 2k and seeing how fast i'm going the 2k and doing that to the the single and it's not so much the same because I can just hop on the erg and give it some serious yam. My single sculling ability isn't quite at that level yet, so it's more of a 
trying to get to a level currently where I can apply a lot of yam, which I think will take me a few weeks, but it is just a process to enjoy, it's a process to go through for me since my sculling ability isn't very good compared to my sweep ability. So it's a case of getting in the boat as much as I can over the next few months, few weeks, few days, few hours, and seeing what I can do. And what I've also been thinking about as well is not that I've not enjoyed what I've been doing, it's since I've been doing so much, I was like, okay, 2K, 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 and I was like, well, erging is on the, the 2K is on the erg, and so doing erging will help me with that. Obviously, other things can help as well, but I didn't really look or change the variation much or at all, and so I stuck to erging and really trying to push the 2K. So, in this next block, yes, I want to get out there and go fast on the water, but also at the same time, enjoy it a little bit more with adding a little bit of variation. So, get out on my bike, being careful, of course. Maybe it's a case of cycling to the bottom of a hill and then cycling back up the hill, timing how long it'll take me, and then seeing how I do, and then I can sort of aim for that every so often, aim for a, aim for a time. But again, just changing it up, but also using things like cross training to enable increases in fitness. Because especially on the water for me, it's going to be difficult for at least the first few weeks for me to really work on the fitness kind of side of things because I won't be able to apply too much consistent work. I'll be basically working on my balance mostly. So you get to join me as I relearn to skull for about the fourth time in the vlogs. And it's always interesting, like the, the comments and the help from the Yam Squad when I am sculling about, okay, try this, try that. And from now going forward, I really appreciate the help. And I'll, But obviously remember that I'm starting from, maybe not zero, but close to zero. So maybe just a little bit of slack. So then once I get comfortable, I can work on sort of moving up because I remember the first time I went out, it's like the first, first time I went out in the single and I could barely row and the someone said, why are you squaring late? Why are you, um, why are you touching your blades in the water? And it's like, well, I, my ability to skull is severely lacking. And then over weeks, I got some strokes with my blades off the water and even a couple of strokes with some early squaring as well. So we're going towards that and then we're going towards working hard. And in the future, I've got some interesting plans to add some serious variation. Hopefully they all come about, but just kind of down to uh, the social distancing and sort of rules around the country to see what happens with those. But that's a future Yam Squad to look forward to, so make sure you are subscribed for that. Because I think that'll be, that. well, I've never done this kind of thing on the vlogs, kind of thing so it's going to be really interesting to do and also speaking of variation I've done a couple of videos now about sort of like I replaced my laptop screen I re replaced this microphone port um, and I've got another one today that I think you've probably you might have already sort of seen the thumbnail of but it's it's variation of the videos I'm making too I'm trying to do a couple of just I'm really interested in tech um, whether it's cameras computers and I've built my own computer at home. So maybe it's a video of how to build a computer, but I'm trying to sort of intersperse that content with the rowing content so as not to sort of say, oh, why is Cam posting random computer replacement screen videos? I want to see them falling in on the water. I'm trying to do, not trying to do, well, yes, trying to do both, but not trying to do one rather than the other if that makes sense, because that's trying to do both. So hopefully you enjoy the variance of the videos, just trying to like push onto different subjects because I feel like when the channel is, for example, this past eight weeks, very, very erging related. So it means it becomes quite one dimensional and I want to have a couple of dimensions, maybe even three, four or whatever may end up happening. But that will be it for the little chat about what I'm kind of doing going forward. More sculling is basically it for now. And more enjoyment, I think, more variation. And I know, I know I say variation a lot, but it is even just a little bit, and it's sometimes you can just forget that when you're trying to focus on a goal quite a bit, 
you forget that just changing things up a little bit can actually make a big difference. So practicing what I preach kind of thing. But as always, Yam Squad, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you're looking forward to what's coming up, for example, I can't guarantee it, but falling in in the water on the single, in the single, uh, the, the perhaps potential thing that I'm planning on doing soon, but not sure yet, and just a little bit of variation with the videos, whether it is rowing related or tech related, or even the videos from Ed and Rich, that's adding some variation as well. I think Rich has some, some fishing videos coming up. So make sure you are subscribed for that. And if you could hit that like button, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I will see you tomorrow. This is Monday. I'll see you on Tuesday for another episode where I might chat about something. I might be on the water. I might be fixing a computer. I might be cycling. Who knows? We will see when we get to tomorrow. Oh, yeah.